Go ahead. Hi, it's another episode of Blockheads. We're meeting today with Chad. He just won two awards for his Lego Solio Chad. Oh, and Micro. So, I think I saw this, was it on Flickr, Brothers Press, or... Uh, I posted it on Flickr. I'm not sure if anyone else has picked it up. Hey, I wouldn't be surprised why there's bricks. They get around, that's yeah. for sure. Um, so, what kind of idea? Have you done this type of thing? Um, I've got a background in animation. I actually studied animation uh -huh. in college for a couple years and uh, taught a little bit. Yeah, but, um, but when I got into doing stuff with Legos, I taught Lego engineering for a couple years locally and uh, I was looking for a way to bring my animation background into it. So I looked a little bit at you know, all the people that do animation online, all the different YouTube videos and stuff like that, but I wanted to bring something with a little, little different spin to it. Excited on the classic course, of course. Right, so actually the very first Zoetrope I did was a gift uh -huh. for, a, for a friend, and it was just a walk cycle with a minifigure walking. And, uh, and then this one I did last year, and I wanted to stick with the minifigure to really tie it mm -hmm. into the Lego theme. Well, of course, yeah. Um, but this year, I think I was inspired a little bit by the movie Hugo to go really classic film instead of classic Lego. Exactly. Um, so this one harkens back to the, the Moybridge photos of horses. Turn it off? Sure. So, so the way the Zoetrope works is the slits between the frames works as a shutter for your eye. So if you just look down through the top of it, you just see a blur when it's moving. But when you look through those slits, you actually see the frames inside being animated. And it's a very old device, hundreds of years old. Before photography, before film, you could make these just by hand drawing the frames. Yeah, as long as we don't have to put a nickel in, right? <laughs> right. That is super cool. Thank you very much, Chad. Sure. And that's it for buckets.